Hey guys, Chris from Gamertech Toronto here, and today we had a customer come in with a pretty common problem. Their PC fans were acting way too loud. So today I want to walk you through exactly the same steps that I take to figure out what's going on and show you guys what to check at home if your computer sounds like a jet engine. That's super loud. The first thing I like to check is the BIOS. So first, restart your PC and mash that delete key until you're in the BIOS menu. Here you'll find a section called hardware monitor or fan control, depending on your motherboard. Look at the RPM that your fans are running at. If your case fans are sitting at like 2000 plus RPM all the time, well, no wonder it sounds like a helicopter. Most case fans should idle around 600 to 1000 RPM and only ramp up under load. From here, you can adjust the fan curve. That's basically telling the PC how fast to spin the fans depending on your CPU or system temperatures. Bring those curves down just a little bit so they're not blasting at full speed when it's idle, but they still ramp up when the temperatures get hot. This alone usually fixes the problem. Now let's talk about wiring. Not all fan headers are the same. Your motherboard usually has a CPU fan header for your CPU cooler and then several system fan headers or CHA CHA fan headers for your case fans. Here's where people run into some issues. If you plug your case fans into CPU opt or AIO pump header, it's just gonna run at full speed 24 seven. These headers are designed for pumps, not just regular case fans. Same deal if your fans are plugged into a SATA powered fan hub that isn't connected to the motherboard. Those often run at 100% with no control at all. So check your wiring and make sure your case fans are actually on the motherboard headers, not on a pump header or some dumb SATA hub. That way the BIOS can control your fans properly. On on top of the BIOS, some motherboards and cases come with software for fan control like Asus Armory Crate, MSI Dragon Center, or Gigabyte Control Center. These let you fine tune fan speed right within Windows. Just keep in mind that if you use both BIOS fan control and the software fan control at the same time, so they can sometimes fight each other. I recommend setting a good fan curve in BIOS and just leave it alone. Another huge cause of loud fans is dust. If your fans are clogged, they're going to work twice as hard and make more noise. So give your case a good cleaning. Use either compressed air or my personal favorite, Metrovax Data Vac Cleaner. It's an awesome power tool that just gets all the dust right out of the system. Also, make sure you use a finger to stop the blades from spinning. You'd be surprised how much quieter a PC gets just after a simple cleaning. Finally, sometimes the fans themselves are just cheap or worn out. Budget fans can have bad bearings that start grinding or humming even after a year. If that's the case, replacing them with a higher quality, quieter fan is the only real fix. Brands like Noctua, Be Quiet, and Lee and Lee make great silent fans. So that's it. If you're PC fans are way too loud, first check your BIOS and set a proper fan curve. Make sure the fans are plugged into the right headers and avoid using CPU opt or CPU pump headers for regular fans and also clean out the dust. If they're still screaming and super loud, you might just need to upgrade to better fans. I hope this helped and if you enjoyed the video, drop us a like, hit that subscribe button for more PC repairs and building tips. Let me know in the comments if your fans have been giving you any trouble and thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.